talk to Puppy, and I think I'm going to adopt her. How can he uh, adopt my daughter? Vincent and Amber, or Amber and Puppy, or just Amber, or just Puppy, or Amber, Vincent, and Puppy. I don't know, confused. But anyway, Puppy gets released, and this is how it goes down. I know it was been a long time. I'm so nervous, girl. <laughs> You're nervous. What you nervous about? What scheming plans do you have? I don't trust this trio. I really just don't. Her laugh is so cute though. I've been on parole for about 20 years. I don't think I've ever really did parole. No, I know she's in. Yeah, she's on parole for 20 years. So what they did was serious, serious. 20 years. <laughs> well. I was like trying every little thing on. <laughs> she got her makeup because she wanted makeup and clothes. I never know why they just go to these weird, dusty restaurants and go and change there. But okay, that's the same that Shonda did when Tyrese got her all these clothes and stuff and she changed at the at the bus stop? I don't know. It was somewhere or at some restaurant or a gas station, something like that. And uh, yeah, she's over there trying to make herself look more like a woman. This is the first real mirror I've probably looked in in about four years. Actually, what kind of mirrors do they have in prison? What I look like. I don't like a prisoner anymore. I look like a woman. Or better yet, I could just adopt you. So this is their whole scheming plan. Let me try and break it down for you. So basically their whole plan was that obviously um, Amber is at Poppy's mom's place. So that's where she's doing Hello, that's where she's doing her parole and Then obviously now Poppy's out. So she's gonna have to be paroling at the same place and I don't think you can Necessarily do that to people that are not related to anything paroling at the same place so now, I think they came up with a scheme when they were, you know, thinking of scheming uh, Vincent or getting Vincent's money. That Vincent would actually adopt Poppy. I'm like, yo, how big is that age difference? I don't know. But also, this is a whole grown woman. Or not. How old is Poppy? I don't, I really don't understand this scheme. But anyway, he would adopt her. And then, he would get some money. Actually, the whole parole thing, I think, is a whole separate issue to this adoption thing. But the adoption thing is to basically scam the system. Whereby, he would get some money every month or every few weeks or so for taking care of puppy something like that and they were gonna take that money and divide it between the three of them or something like that it's not even enough money to if this is what they do as a hustle you have to hustle and hustle and hustle and hustle and hustle because this is never going to sustain you for a long period of time like it's actually crazy it's actually wild so yeah um <laughs> This is what they decided to do and they were going to split up the money and then I think you have to just scam a whole bunch of more people to actually make a decent living. It's it's wild. This is a very strange story. I don't get it. We have jokes. <laughs> She's like, maybe I should adop adopt you. I agree to live into the Puppy looks really cute, by the way. The, the idea was that he would get extra money from me being independent and he would split that with, between me and Amber. All these people are just admitting to crimes right now. All of these people, I can't even think of any other couple right now, but a lot of these people, oh, like Andrea and Lamar, who had their closet baby, they went into jail and they had like, they had that kid, Priscilla, is that the name of the kid? Anyway, um, the, can Shante come too? Because she's family too, on our mission trip, blah, 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 yeah, so her, um, they had her in a prison closet, closet what they weren't supposed to do. That's where she was conceived anyway. And they just say all this on, on national television for everybody to hear their scheming, lying, cheating ways. And yeah, in the same way they're telling us about their scam. I don't need to know that. She messaged me one day, she's like, listen, I talked to Puppy and I think I'm gonna adopt her. How can he uh, adopt my daughter? He said, I look Great question. See, as, as the mother, she, she <laughs> she's also like, adopt who? She's still here. She's not gone yet. Like she's alive and well. Why should he do that? I'm gonna claim her. I think he said I'll get two hundred and fifty-seven dollars twice a month. He said two hundred and fifty-seven. Do is I'm gonna split the money between the two of y'all. And what will he get? So it's basically going three ways. Hey. You guys really want to sit here and scheme the government, like cheat the government 
find loopholes in the system for $550 every month. I'm confusion. Legally, and then the same possible. They sent her the legal. They sent her the legal mail. So basically, I think it was done and dusted. So basically, I think Vincent is now her, adopt, uh, her adoptive parent or something like that. And it and it, it goes into motion once she's out. So from now, actually, basically. So now they need to see what's the deal with this scheme that they had. Uh, uh. I think we should call them and talk to them. <laughs> These people look so sweet. You would almost forget that they were into some really serious dangerous stuff my phone yeah he's not gonna answer he's gotta talk to me he's my daddy hey he's your daughter huh <laughs> why does he talk like that he talk <laughs> talks like he's one of the lords he really he really sounds like one what's up puppy what's up puppy like it's so weird uh, nothing. I was just calling, you know, seeing about this um, adoption and how you're going to be making money off of me now. You guys are going to leave this nice food. You puppy, you've been in prison all this time. You've come out. This is your first day. Instead of you guys finishing this food, what? Did the producers have somewhere to go or something? Were they rushing you guys to make this phone call before they go? Like, I always wonder what filming is like. Like, why would you leave this good food which you have not had in... She was in for six years. You've not had it in six years. Why would you leave that to come and talk to this guy? That couldn't wait. Oh, okay. He feels like that was a mistake. It sure was. Now he wants to reverse the adoption. Sounds very much like hmm, that one family on YouTube. That's all I'm going to say. And maybe you can't cancel it since it's already finalized then without my permission and maybe i won't let you uh um, adopt me until you send amber money but has he started making money already the whole thing makes no sense uh, money for for what has he already started getting money like obviously the system is not that dumb right like She's not even with him, so if you've adopted somebody, obviously the person needs to be with you before you can get the money. She just came out today, so I don't know. I feel like if he was planning to unadopt me, then he would have did it already. It's been my what? Seven, eight months? Yeah. Just, just sound his voice pissing me off. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's not your fault. You chose that guy. You probably spoke to this guy so many times on the phone. Like, you chose that guy. So yeah, the sound of his voice cannot just annoy you now. I think from the minute she got out of prison, the sound of his voice was annoying her. But she had to go along with it because of this scheme. This is how they were going to get rich quick. There is no such thing as a get rich quick scheme. Let me tell you that. There is no such thing. Everything always, like, how you get it is how you lose it. Like, if it's quick and it's illegitimate, you will lose it at some point in your life. You will have it, have it, have it, have it, have it, and then everything will come crashing down. You have nothing. So, having it will be even worthless. And as you have it, and while you have it, you always be looking over your shoulder like, who's coming to get me? Who's coming to get me? Who's coming to get me? What kind of life is that? Well, I don't really know how to go about it. You come out of prison and the first thing you order is this. All this good, good stuff. Anyway, I'm sure in prison they don't really get like the freshest vegetables and stuff like that. Actually, that does kind of look kind of good. I'm not even going to lie. Making sure that he unadopts me. Vince said that if I let him adopt me, that he could uh, draw 500 extra dollars more a month. And he would split that between me and Amber evenly. You cannot live over 500 a month. I know that in prison they work and it's like they get just pennies an hour. Like so little an amount an hour. Um, but the real, world is, the real world is crazy. You cannot live off of that amount. Point and a blank and a period. If you're not already part of the family, make sure you hit 
I'm stuck. As something as subscribe button, comment because I really want to know what you think. Like because you obviously like this video and hit the notification bell. Watch it. I'll see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow. Daily videos up in here. In the meantime, make time for glorious life. It's time to start what? Living it right. God bless. Mm.